Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I want to share with you guys my experience using iOS 13 for a little over a week now on my iPhone 10R. I want to share any of the bugs, any of the issues that I've been having with the first beta for iOS 13. I also want to talk about when can we expect the next beta, beta 2 for iOS 13 as well as a public beta for iOS 13. I know a lot of you guys are anxious to get iOS 13 on your device, however there's a reason why Apple did not provide a profile to install from the developer portal to install iOS 13. In previous years, iOS 12, iOS 11, Apple will provide a profile that you would install from the developer portal and you can restart your device and install the next major OS, iOS 13 in this case. But this year, Apple is requiring for you to download the IPSW, use iTunes to restore. So that way, not too many people get their hands on iOS 13 because Apple realizes there's a lot of bugs. And that's what I want to start talking about, the bugs. Now keep in mind, everything I mentioned, every problem I mentioned at this point is somewhat acceptable because it is beta one and that's why Apple is telling developers hey this is only for devices intended for developing purposes so jumping into the messages application the first a problem I've come across is the emoji keyboard would get stuck in some cases as well as the swiping keyboard the new swiping gestures here on iOS 13 would just freeze in some cases uh, randomly on my device here as well. And when I switch to the emoji keyboard, see that? It won't scroll through the actual keyboard just like that. I would have to tap in between these emojis in order to get this motion to go back, to scrolling to come back. But in some cases, it just gets stuck just like you see there. It just won't swipe between emoji pages as you just see right here. But that's a bug within the keyboard inside of the messages applications that I've come across. Instead of email, I've had many issues when swiping and deleting emails, they would just not delete. Sending emails would just not send. Loading emails would just not load. Uh, inside of the photos application, I would edit a photo, I would edit a video, and I would add all the filters, everything in place. When I click done, it would just go right back to where it was. It won't apply any other changes, so I've come across that issue, as well as within the photos application or the cameras application, taking a photo would sometimes crash my device for some reason. Changing the wallpaper on the iPhone would sometimes just crash the device. Connecting a Bluetooth device will sometimes just crash the device. I mean, the bugs are just a lot. There's a lot, and that's a reason why Apple does not allow users to install this on their primary device, or at least attempt to prevent from users installing iOS 13 on their primary device. With all that being said, there's just so many features within iOS 13 that I love that I still run on my iPhone XR as a daily driver iOS 13. I think the iPhone XR got the most features, including new 3D touch-like gestures throughout the OS, throughout the applications, peek and pop, messages, etc. I think this device got the most features in iOS 13 the iPhone XR. However, with iPadOS, I actually downgraded to iOS 12 because iPadOS is just amazing, but there's just so many bugs and issues. I couldn't really use my iPad Pro as my primary device as I usually like to use it. That is my workhorse. It's quickly becoming my computer replacement in a way. With iOS 13, this is very, very close to becoming my computer's replacement. I can do a whole lot. It is 80% there. So I just wanted to downgrade to use iOS 12 because of course iOS 12 is stable but iOS 13 takes it to a whole new level I love it but there was just too many bugs so I had to downgrade back to iOS 12 so now let's talk about when can we expect the next release iOS 13 beta 2 well if history is any indication previous years Apple will take approximately two weeks in between betas to update to the next beta so Apple released iOS 13 beta 1 on June 3rd so again, if history is any indication, beta 2 should be released on the week of the 17th. So we're five, six, maybe seven days away from the next beta for iOS 13, iOS 13 beta 2 to developers. Now, Apple has mentioned that for public beta testers, you can expect this beta sometime in July. They were not specific when, but in July, we can expect iOS 13. I'm thinking the second week of July is when we'll see the public beta 
for iOS 13, so most of you guys will be able to install this on your device. Now, if you're looking to install iOS 13 public beta, we'll have links down below to Apple's public beta testing program. And if you're a developer or would like to become a developer, I'll also link down below to Apple's developer portal so you guys can sign up if you wish to do so. But again, second beta for iOS 13, most likely next week of the week of the 17th and public beta, most likely the week of the 8th on July. Now the beta again has been very very, very buggy but that is to be expected I'll continue testing the software I'll continue to share my experience with you guys in the upcoming days and any additional new features and changes that I've come across of course I'll be bringing to you guys I want to say thank you for watching today's video guys I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you on the next one peace